Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm so grateful you're here with me today. And welcome to Art Exploration with Jessica from Color Me Creative, Kelly from Kelly Chassis Fine Art, and me from Indigo Jade Art, where every month in 2020 we are taking a deeper dive and exploring a new color. All three of us met as online teachers and we just love teaching and exploring new mediums. This month, we're exploring pearl color mediums. You can also participate in our monthly challenge and dive in a bit more with us in our private Facebook group. The link to join is listed below. Alrighty, let's get started. And holy smokes, we open right up to the super shine of the pearl watercolor mediums. I'm going to be focusing on how to use the pearl watercolors or iridescent mediums with your watercolor projects. And we're gonna create this floral spray for our tutorial today. It's gonna to be so much fun. And we're only gonna be using three watercolors to create these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Okay, so here are the pearl mediums that I have in my stash. I have some Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent. These are calligraphy colors that calligraphers use, but I use them as a watercolor medium. So this one is silver, but it's a pearl. I also have this Winsor Newton Iridescent medium. These two mediums you can add to your watercolors to create more of a super shine. And I also have this Fine Tech set of uh, iridescent mediums. I'm going to be using this little pan of pearl watercolor and this one is by Schminka. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the three watercolors that I'm going to be using and I'm going to swatch them out for you. I have olive, Payne's gray, and the pearl watercolor. So I'm going to swatch all three of these out and we're going to create the whole floral spray just using these three colors. So here is the olive color. Now you can grab any green that's in your watercolor stash, whatever you enjoy. And here is the Payne's Gray. Now we're gonna be diluting this quite a bit with water to get that really, really pale blue gray look. And here is the pearl watercolor. Now it's hard to see, it's on the paper, but I'm gonna lift it up so that you can take a look at that pearl pearl shimmer and shine and I'm going to be using it as an additive. We're going to be adding it into our project to jack up the luminosity in the flowers. Oh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a piece of watercolor paper cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's an A2 sized card front. And I've got a free download for you for the illustration. The link is in the description below. And I've taken that illustration and lightly sketched it onto my watercolor paper right here. Okay, so let's get started with painting the flowers. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am painting all of the flowers just with water. So I have my number eight brush here and I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of the flowers in the illustration with water before I begin to drop in the Payne's gray color. So you can see that I've just painted that first flower with just water. Now I'm dropping in a bit of that Payne's Gray watercolor, but I've really diluted that pigment down quite a bit with water. And you can see that the petals are very, very light and washy. And now I'm dropping in some of the Payne's Gray in the center. Now I'm going to spread this out just a little bit so that I can get some definition around the edges of the petals, but I really want to keep the petals very, very light, almost like a white flower with a little bit of this Payne's Gray in here to act as a shadow. So we get a little bit of this blue, gray, white kind of flower. So I'm moving ahead and I'm painting the other flowers that I have here. There's three flowers in this spray. And I'm again, painting with the water first 
and then going in and dropping the Payne's Gray, the really, really diluted Payne's Gray into the water and just kind of coaxing it around a bit, letting it move a little bit before I start to drop in the center. Now I dropped in that center Payne's Gray and it just immediately starts to spider out and go where the water is. So that's kind of cool. And I'll come back and add some definition to that, but I just wanted to drop that in the middle. And I'm moving on to the third petal and I'm doing the same technique. I added very, very light washes in that first pass. And now I'm just kind of adding a little bit darker wash. This one is gonna be a little bit of a darker flower and just kind of spreading that out in the water. So I'm going back and forth from the dark Payne's Gray and the diluted Payne's Gray. Now you can use any color that you have in your stash. It doesn't have to be Payne's Gray. You can just use a really pale gray or a really pale blue to achieve this effect. So look at that. I'm digging the way that looks. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move this on to I'm painting doing a little leaves. bit something different. I have put the olive watercolor down onto my mat here, and I'm adding the pearl watercolors to the olive color. And I'm going to straight up paint all of these leaves and greenery around this floral spray in this mixed watercolor medium that I've created. So you can see that that olive has that really nice iridescent pearl sheen to it. So it's going to give these leaves a bit of a, a white look to them with a little bit of a shine. And I'm really, really digging the way it's coming out. So I'm just working my way around the floral spray and adding in the leaves and the greenery and just following the sketch and using the entire belly of the brush to create the the fullness of the leaves, but I'm loving that contrast between that really, really pale gray flowers and the really, really pearly olive color that we're, we've got going on here in the leaves. So I'm adding a bit of the darker olive in just a couple places, and I'm just kind of adding a little bit of contrast to see if I'm if I'm going to like it. So you can see me just mixing up a little bit of the olive and going back and forth between that and the pearl medium, just laying that right on top. So I really like to lay the pearl medium on top of what I'm working on and also mix it into the watercolors to create a whole different kind of look. So just loving the way this color is coming out. I think it's a really, really nice, vibrant contrast to the way the flowers look. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to adding the pearl watercolor right to the Payne's Gray. So I'm mixing it up right here in the dish into the Payne's Gray to get my pearlescent watercolor that I'm going to add on the top of the petals. So I'm going around the outer edge of the petals and I'm just adding in touches of that watercolor to create just a little bit of the shimmer and shine. Now, I don't wanna add a ton of it on top. I want to be able to preserve some of the, the blue tones that I have underneath, but just adding this little bit of that pearl mix on top of these flower petals just gives it that luminosity that I'm looking for for the project. And also just kind of gives it, a, jacks up the white a little bit. So you can see that I'm adding a little tiny bit of the pearl medium around the edges. And as I'm working through the finishing details here, I'm adding some of the Payne's Gray right back into the center of the petal. And I'm just moving a little bit of that Payne's Gray around the petals just so that I can get some of the definition in the petals. So it just doesn't look like a flower without the petals having some definition. So I'm just using little touches of that watercolor to kind of pull that out a little bit and get some definition there and I'm really really loving it and you know me I've got to add a little bit of splatter to the end just to get a lot of extra texture and dimension I'm loving the luminosity of the project I really added a little bit more pearl um, splatter at the end just to give it a little extra oomph 
And I'm kind of going back in here a little bit and just going into that center floral again and moving around that Payne's Gray from the center just to create a little more definition in those petals. And I am digging this project. I am really, really love the way it came out. I'm loving the shimmer and shine and the luminosity that we have in these beautiful, beautiful, delicate blue petals. I hope you enjoyed today's art exploration tutorial. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel and head on over to Kelly and Jessica's channels to subscribe and watch their color exploration for this month as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.